I believe that um, you you gain the respect. I mean, I understand why I see it this way. It's because I just, uh, to me, 10,000 people is 10,000 people, wherever they come from. But then you have some people that will respect more an industry when, for example, if you are huge in Nigeria, you can live better than an American artist. If you are huge in Dubai, you can live better in Dubai as a, than an American artist. Same thing in Nigeria, same thing in South Africa. If you are huge in Congo, I mean, you can live good and you can even live great, but it's missing a lot of things uh, as a as a country in terms of infrastructure for artists so that you can really make the most money from being there. So um, to give you an example of all the ways I make money in, 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 in Europe, uh, I make money from streams, I make money from YouTube views, I make money from sales, uh, I make money from um, uh, copyrights, I make money from intellectual rights. So if you write a song or if you compose a song, I make money from um, performance right, means if somebody sings any song I did or, or uh, a song where I played an instrument uh, in anywhere, or if it plays in the radio, somebody does a show, I make money from that. Uh, you make money from selling beats, you make money from selling songs, you make money from giving advice to people, you make money like this. So many ways that you can make money from music. Your music plays on an ad, I make money from that. You make, you make your, 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 your music is in a movie, you make money from that. And because of that, to make money from all these things, you have to be part of all these different organized organisms. Organism? Listen, these collecting societies that really take care of getting the money from you. For example, if you're part of a sound exchange, uh, you make money from being the owner of a copyright of a song. Uh, so it's like uh, it's like intellectual rights before uh, master owners. Uh, if you write a song, you have uh, SPA here in Portugal, SASEM in France, or or uh, ASCAP in the US. You can make money from that. If you if you are um, if you just play the piano or the guitar or the congas on a song, you can be part of a sound exchange or you can be part of a GDA here in Portugal, La Maison des Artistes in France, Adami or other depending on on the country where you live that will get sorry, a little bit of every song where you play the conga, as a conga player, there's a part for you. People don't know that. And you don't even need to sign something when you do the song. You just need to come and in the, for example, you bring the CD cover and says, you see, it's written here in the credit that I play the congas and you get money from that. Um, you can make money from your song playing in a hotel. You can make money from streams here. You like all these things, all these or all these collecting societies exist that make it as a creator that you don't need to dream of living in another country to make money and i believe that this is this exists in uh in south africa this exists probably in nigeria oh uh, it's it's this infrastructure but for example in congo all this doesn't work in Congo, you don't make money from your streams unless they are outside of Congo. You don't make money from the YouTube views because there's no ads in the YouTube videos. You don't make money from uh, the copyrights. Listen, I have I have a track that is an, an ad that has been, it was supposed to play for a month. They played for two years. I never got a $1 from that uh, because the things are not working. Uh, so the only way to make money is doing shows. Um, so most, so most artists, they will believe that it's better to go in Europe or in the U S so that they can, uh, have a career. And 
So maybe the fact that we don't have like a, the infrastructure in place so that an artist can live from his his work, his craft inside the country, make it that people don't really respect like the your achievement at home the same way they respect as if you do a O2 arena in the UK. But listen, and there's no like we have a stadium, but there's no arena as well. Like nobody built all this, like the, the private sector and the the the, the the public sector and the government, they don't really uh, think of culture as a as a as a weapon, as a the way the American are using this as soft power, uh, or the Koreans. Everybody loved South Korea because of K-pop and and Korean dramas. So this is soft soft power where you watch so much of something that all of a sudden, yeah, you want to go see. Uh, the K-pop biggest band, you want to see them in Seoul. That's like the mecca of K-pop. And in Congo, for example, we have some of the biggest African artists, but no infrastructure for them to, to be multimillionaires. Where if you if you are uh, of a stature of a, a Fali Pupa or a, or a, a Kofi Olomide or a, uh, Papa Wemba, rest in peace, or or a Kassav in in France or in the U.S., you are normally a multimillionaire. In in our countries, some of them, like in South Africa, some yeah, some of them they're, they're good, huh? Uh, in Angola as well, but in some most of our countries, you can be huge as an artist and still be poor because there's your only avenue for making music and making money from your music is the shows. Um, and this is why a lot of these record companies like Universal, Sony that implanted themselves in the, the French speaking Africa, they only make money from selling the shows of their artists. The, the, the artists that are there they don't really generate uh, publishing revenue, intellectual right revenues, etc., because the system is not in place. Where in soon as all these systems are in place, as an artist, you can live. Listen, it's gonna be it's gonna be December soon. I'm gonna receive uh, probably I don't know five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand euros just from. All the artists that are not only my songs, but all the, all the songs that are made from other artists that performed tracks that I wrote or I composed. So Portuguese artists like Blaya, like Rita Guerra, like like Siquat Pedro Angola artists, uh, or artists that are in Belgium, or uh, television shows where I did the music, music I did for Trace TV, music I did for me, Le DS, Sumia, Elisio, Abishi. All these tracks that I did all these years, if something played in the radio, if something played or, or somebody did a show somewhere and, and they declare the songs, every part of money that I have to make from all these songs, 10 euros here, 70 euros there, 100 here, 500 from this, da 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 da, uh, this novella that I have like a, a Portuguese novella where I have a song that I did for Anselmo Ralph where I wrote a part of the song. Uh, so I have 30% of that song. It plays in 20 episodes of a novella in Portugal that played. So every episode is generating a little bit of money. All this because I live here and I'm, I'm registered to all these companies and all my songs are registered. Yeah, by December, I'll just receive... Uh, a wire transfer and this changes everything because there goes my rent you see and then there's no stress or there goes the gift for the kids for for christmas or there goes my wife is, is gonna celebrate her birthday so there goes x so i'm gonna be celebrating my 50 in january so there goes my party whatever and every three months you receive these quarterly revenues but if you are an artist in some part of Africa, if you are an artist in uh, in Madagascar, you don't have none of that shit. 
So you can be huge in your country. And if you don't do, let's let's say you, you break your leg, you cannot do shows for six months. You're poor. 